Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video, I'm going to show you how to connect the DJI HD FEV goggles to an HDMI output in order to use it for practicing FEV flying on a flight simulator on your computer. Unfortunately, these goggles are not equipped with an HDMI input and I did try a couple of USB-C to HDMI adapters without any success. My solution is pretty simple. I'm going to use this HDMI to AV adapter, which on one end features an HDMI input and on the other end RCA output. In addition, it supports both NTSC and PAL signals and you will need to power it up externally using a mini USB connector. Now let me show you how it's going to work. Over here I've got the HDMI to AV converter and it is connected through an HDMI cable to my computer using a USB-C to HDMI and USB adapter. You should note that this adapter is only needed in case you don't have an HDMI port on your computer. On the other end of the HDMI to AV converter, I connected RCA to 3.5mm plug, which I'm going to plug to the AV in port of the goggles. Now we need to power them up. Go down to settings, select AV in, and as you can see, now we can use the goggles in order to practice FPV flying. In order to get a much better practice and a more realistic feeling, I highly recommend to use a remote controller. In most cases, you'll be able to directly plug it to your computer using a USB cable. And my personal preference is to use this wireless adapter by FR Sky that binds to my Jumper T16 Pro remote controller. And if you'd like to know more about this adapter, you can check out my review over here. So now let me show you how it's going to work. Let's arm the quadcopter and there you go. And as you can see, the quality is not as good, of course, as in HDMI compared to the AV input, but it is flyable. And even though it's not a very elegant solution, it's all we have for now. I'm going to leave links in the description box of this video to all the products I used so you can check them out. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.